The overall goal of this procedure is to obtain in vivo recordings of neural activity in the brain of intact adult zebrafish. This is accomplished by first obtaining and immobilizing an adult zebrafish through the bath application of tricane methanosulfonate. The second step is to intubate the immobilized zebrafish. Next, a craniotomy is performed under tricane anesthesia to provide access to the brain. The final step is to position a primary electrode within the craniotomy window, which allows extracellular brain activity to be recorded. Ultimately, in vivo electrophysiology in the adult zebrafish can be used to show how different pharmacological compounds or genetic mutations can lead to alterations in the native neurological activity of the zebrafish. This method can help answer key questions in both developmental biology and neurobiology about how changes in brain structure can affect changes in neural activity, both in normal development and in uh, the case of genetic mutation. Generally, individuals new to this technique will struggle because extra care must be taken to remove only a small portion of the bony plate covering the head without damaging the brain tissue. The intubation cannula facilitates the introduction of fluid to the fish. This setup provides both flexibility and firmness to best position the cannula within the animal's mouth. For this setup, remove a 1.5 cm section from the wide end of a P200 pipette tip with a pair of scissors or a razor blade.